Hi, I'm Ravi here. Today I'm working on Suzuki Wagon R 0.6 liter 2012 Japanese made small car. Customer complaint was check engine light is lit. Few shops try to fix it, but after few miles check engine light comes again. Last shop mean it need a new air fuel sensor, but let's diagnose it. First thing first, hook up the scan tool and get the data. Just ignition on and I am going to check what are the fault codes available first. I select Suzuki from the list and get the health report. You can see here there are bunch of fault codes for the several systems. Most of them are history code which I am not worrying. I am going to chase PO171 system 2 lean code here which cause to check engine is lit. First thing I would like to see freeze frame data on this code. But you can see freeze frame button is inactive for the PO171 current code. Looks freeze frame data is not supportive for this car by the Suzuki software. Therefore I go to the OBD2 mode and retrieve freeze frame data. Because freeze frame data will bring us important data stored by the engine control module when set the fault code. I would like to see engine RPM, fuel system status and fuel trim data when set this specific fault code. Here you can see engine RPM was 1195, fuel system status was closed loop. And same times you can see this freeze frame data caused to PO171 fault code. You can see vehicle speed is 34 km per hour. That means this fault code has been set under the load while vehicle is running. So let's go to the fuel trim data. Here you can see long term fuel trim is positively way high under this situation. Let's see how was the short term fuel trim too. Long term 15%, short term 21%. That's a huge lean condition. Way more positively high. Under the load, positively high short term and long term fuel trim means fuel delivery issue. To verify that we need to see what are the fuel trims at the idle. Let's go to the live data and see what are the fuel trim values. Okay, let's go to the read data stream. I select several data pits here which I would like to observe. Let's see what will be the fuel trim at idle. Long term is positive 15 and short term also stay around positive values. That means higher positive fuel trim at idle too. Let's see what will be the fuel trim at high RPM. You can see short term fuel trim also going way high when rev it up. Short term fuel trim goes over 10%. That means total trims are over 25%. So positively high fuel trim at idle as well as high RPM clearly indicate fuel delivery issue. But it could be an another issue like bad airflow sensor or bad oxygen sensor. But I observed those sensors data off camera which was quite ok. By analyzing this scan data I got the direction to do more test on fuel delivery side. So I am going to check the fuel pressure nearby the fuel rail. Hook up the fuel pressure gauge here. Ok just key on. You can see fuel pressure has been risen only 25 psi. Let's see what will be the fuel pressure while cranking. No more risen even at the cranking. So confirm it has a low fuel pressure. It need at least 35 psi of a fuel pressure to run a car in a normal condition. Now we get the direction to fuel pump side. Now I am going to throw the scope on the fuel pump and check the fuel pump current draw in pattern. Here is the simple oscilloscope setup for check the fuel pump current draw in pattern on this fuel pump. Just hook up the low amp clamp around the positive wire of the fuel pump power supply. And let's see the current drawing pattern of this fuel pump. Right, crank current. Just crank the engine and get the fuel pump current drawing pattern. Okay, I got the waveform. Just analyze this waveform to reveal more details regarding the fuel pump. Here is the recorded waveform. Let's analyze it. This waveform clearly indicate that low amp drawing of this fuel pump. Let's measure how many peak amps and average amps it has been drawn. Ok, I put the cursor here. You can see averagely 0.8 amps it has been drawn. 0.8 amps mean too low amp draw for a good fuel pump. That should be at least 3 amps for a working good fuel pump. Ok, let's measure the peak amps. 
Here you can see 1.1 amps. That is very low. Low amps draw might be the sign of bad fuel pump. Let's analyze bit more deeper. I just zoom in the waveform. I am going to measure the fuel pump speed now. For that I am going to put two rulers between identical towers in this fuel pump current draw waveform. You can see these two towers are identical. They should have eight towers between these two towers because eight towers cover the eight segments of the commutator. Yes, there are eight segments between these two identical towers. Here you can see frequency is 60 Hz about. That means 60 rotations per second. Multiply it by 60, we get the RPM. Here you can see 3600 RPM. That means very low RPM for a good working fuel pump. Normally good working fuel pump should have over 5500 RPM. I will show you something to prove that this fuel pump is bad in this waveform. Okay, I zoom in this waveform little bit between these two rulers. These each peak represent one commutator segment. Do you see higher peaks and lower peaks between these two rulers? These higher peaks are okay, but those lower peaks indicate bad commutator segments. These data analysis reveal that the fuel pump on this vehicle is bad. Confirm this car need a new fuel pump. In the whole process of diagnosis, this vehicle scope did a great job. It helped me to accurate diagnostic. Okay, I am going to take off the fuel pump and replace a new one. Here is the removed fuel pump and the new one which I bought to replace. Ok done and reinstall the fuel pump. I am going to recheck the fuel pressure after install the new fuel pump. Just key on. Look at that fuel pressure goes over 40 psi. That's the required fuel pressure to work in normal condition. Confirm fuel pump is working properly now. This car is fixed. Now I am going to clear the fault codes and see the data. Ok, cleared the fault codes. Let's see any fault code still remaining. No DTCs. So let's start the car and check the live data. Check engine light went away. So I am going to analyze fuel trim data a little bit after fix to confirm this car is fixed. You can see long term fuel trim has come down to 10% from 15% at idle. Same time short term fuel trim goes to minus and start to compensate. Do you see total fuel trim getting lower? It was over 25% before replace the fuel pump. Ok, let's see what will be the fuel trim when throttle open. Do you see short term fuel trim dramatically change and try to compensate total fuel trim while RPM goes higher? This process will take some times to compensate and total trim getting around zero. Confirm this car is fixed, but I would like to observe the fuel trim data while a test drive. Let's go for a test drive. Apologize for the shaky camera during the test drive. But hope you can see how fuel trims are compensating and total trim getting lower. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos.